Good morning. It's actually really early, like 6.15 for a Saturday. I got up, actually got up early, and snuck out of the house without Eve freaking out because I'm gonna go run over to Krispy Kreme and hopefully get back to the apartment before she wakes up, but Krispy Kreme's like 15, 20 minutes away. But she's literally been jonesing for donuts for like weeks and made some comments yesterday about it and there just wasn't the time for me to do anything little and special like that so I know it's a small thing but I was like you know what I'm gonna set some alarms I'm gonna get up and then we're gonna get some fresh Krispy Kreme donuts because when she says donuts she means like any kind of donuts but she kind of has been jonesing for like Krispy Kreme since we moved here because they're much more frequent down here than they are back in Chicago there's only like two and they're far away we did it. I made it. I've never been in this Krispy Kreme Donuts. We're over by Old Town. And I forgot that the, um, I forgot the Royal Wedding was going on. Well, I didn't forget, but I didn't, I forgot that, like, I thought it happened earlier than it is now. Because it's 6.50. I know because the time difference was going to happen earlier. Okay, first of all, I forgot that this is, that Old Town is super close to all the Florida Project filming spots. The big orange world is over there, but... And I also forgot that Krispy Kreme, I haven't like avidly gone in like over 10 years. I forgot how like they've spunked up their game. First of all, coffee's really good, but check this out. Look at this. That right there is maple covered. That's all for me. Right here, double dark chocolate. Oh my god. And those are just fresh up the line. I gotta get inside. I gotta get these to Sarah. The Krusty Krab pizza is the pizza absolutely. Happy birthday breakfast. Thank you. <laughs> and I got you an orange juice. Orange juice? Thank you. Thank you very much. I, Megan, take you, Harry. Bye, Megan. Thank you, Harry. Eve's just overwhelmed by the royal wedding. Magic Kingdom right now. Then we gotta go home because Sarah's gonna record a podcast. With grown up kids. With grown up kids, and then we'll see what happens in the evening. Yeah. We don't have plans yet. We've got a couple potential plans. Yeah. Alrighty, so we're doing something fun and special. Um, Sean and Caroline from Sea Sean Vlogs, they're in Disneyland Paris. And so we're gonna do a castle to castle FaceTime with our, where is it? There. Our castle. Disneyland Castle, and we just talked to them for a little bit, but we're gonna recall so it's a little bit better quality, quality sound. Um, but we're just gonna hang out in this little like cove. So it's super loud over there by Mickey Mouse. We're gonna do. We're gonna look at all the people taking purple wall, purple wall pics. <laughs> Hoping a trolley show is coming through, but movie ticket celebrate is gonna come through and maybe a trolley show will come through after. But this is secretly guys, my favorite phrase. What? Well like it's my favorite in what the movers, like the people who aren't characters who are just dancing in the street, like it's my favorite parade for the movers because they just like, look like they're having so much ever, fun. Or yeah. just like for the movers. It's on right now. It's for like, the movers ever. Ever? Yeah. Okay, so 
after the movie ticket celebrate, it's 30 minutes until the next, until the trolley show starts. And we haven't like perused the Emporium in a long time. And Sarah's like, feeling like we should stay on Main Street until the trolley show. And I was like, that's fine, like I'm game with that. We just need some water, so we got some water from Starbucks. And now we're just cruising Main Street, and I love this Americana new series they started of merchandise. I know Target just came out with like, is it Americana or is it just Mickey Minnie? Okay, so I know Target came out with a cool line, but look at that zip up with the stars, this hat, all American girl. Look at these. Little dishes. I want it all. Look at that sundress. Look at that coffee mug. <laughs> Scarfs, bags. Ramon? Ramon? <gasps> Ramon? <laughs> this one's Ramon. Yeah. It's the heart of America, the heartbeat of a holiday. Ah, it makes you feel brand new down to your toes. We're taking the long and way. Take though. a leisurely route back to the car. We did park in the parking lot today. Um, Sarah, we really did not leave Main Street. Yeah. <laughs> this is the best. We skipped the Grand Floridian yeah. to walk from. It's taking a, a little bit longer than anticipated for the boat to show up. Yeah. The Magic Kingdom. But we're going to take this nice walk yeah. over to TTC. <laughs> arms, feet, and legs inside while the tram is moving. And supervise your children. For those of you on board, for your safety, hours please later. remain seated with hours. all hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the vehicle as it is in motion. Please supervise your children and make sure those doors stay closed throughout our entire ride. Driver, we are center for dispatch. Look what they have. What is why? it for? Like this summer? You let us know. Down, let us know down below if you know why they're doing it. I wonder if is it from Milani? <laughs> no. No, it's just Disney. Such is my favorite. It, it's such is the, the pin I collect. Yeah. More. This one is drawn by sit badness level. I got half passes for rocket well, I don't know how. power. We're 20 minutes after we got here. On the tram. On our way in. Because. Keep refreshing, like literally, I'm not that bad, like that big of a master of fast passes. It's just like she's just, you just gotta be she'll, relentless. She'll sit there in the passenger seat while I'm driving, just, just like refresh, 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 and then it popped up. And then it popped up, and then right now it's like raining, so the rides are inside, but nobody wants to be outside. So a lot of people are going home or canceling their reservations and going to a different park or going back to the resort, and their fast passes are canceled. Yeah, so they're opening so up. up because we're ridiculous. Want to put back in? We waited for the front row. We waited for the front row because our life changed so like a month ago we did it. So we just have to do it again because we got the fast pass and it was a quick line. We were in line for like five minutes. So and there was no line for the front row. So we were literally one more row. That won't be special yet because we might skip out on both nighttime festivities just to come and stay in line again. Ooh, baby. Rock and Roll Coaster is one of my favorite rides of all time. And then just a month ago, we went on the front row for the first time, and it literally blew me away. And that time was was even better. Yeah. I saw it like when you're in the front row, coming into the final tunnel, like the exit tunnel. I looked to the left, and you could see the next limo take like blast off, <laughs> going into the ride. People screaming. I was like, what? I saw way more of the track and like the different elements, like lights turn on and off. Fabulous. Fabulous. But first, and it was cold, we were, like we, we it was windy. When we were sitting waiting there at first, 
the ride like must have stopped elsewhere because then I was like the ride will begin. I mean, you like, what? You didn't see that? What? Square because the square because the square because the no. Our camera just got hit with a giant raindrop and it like burst on top of it on top of the camera. Well, we got an hour to kill. Maybe we'll go do one man's dream or something. Everyone's. We think there was a downpour while we were in the ride because there's either only poncho people out and then all the people in the gift shops are like soaked. It smells like straight new construction in here and it looks good. This is going on sometime in the next week. Oh, weird. You're going to the left now. So now the right is all disconnected. And this is one of, let me know down below if this is one of the tracks that we've never been on. Because there is, you usually go that way. Thank you, Lindsay. Uh, I was worried that it was going to be like a big long queue, but. Oh, yeah, this is like a ten, five, five, five or ten minutes. Zero. 50 minutes outside. That's like when the person online said that Pandora was 95 minutes and they waited 15. You just never know sometimes. After looking at some deductive reasoning, we came to the conclusion that this is not the same load unload area or the same loading area. Like we, we thought we were just gonna come around the stairs and not go up, like go down those stairs and across. Like, but that's this whole area right here. The track is moving differently, the loading differently. It's a whole different area. Yeah, I just got nervous because we had to compete. The last time I played this game, I like. You went all out. Well, I faltered the last minute. I don't know how I'm gonna do right now because I've had too much, too many Krispy Kremes today. To be honest, honesty hour. All right, here we go. You ready? Ready. I'm not mentally ready yet, but sometimes you just you just gotta get started. Guys, it is such a close game. I was beating the whole time. Sarah started catching up. Oh no. Oh. Oh man. Those are my best games ever. Oh my god. Good job, sweetie. Oh. You kicked my butt in accuracy, though. Classic, classic ride. That's, it was so unexpected. We did not have a fast pass. I know. We could just go walk through uh, One Man's Dream before we go do our Tower Terror. Yeah. So my um, that last one always gets me. I got to the 2000s before you. You got me. You got you beat me to the thousand and two thousand. Yeah. I was nervous. I was watching. I was like, no, no, because that's where I that's where I usually I catch up. This is quite po this is quite possibly one of the saddest things I've ever seen. Cruz Ramirez just bagged up. Like, but her lights are still on. Cruz, it'll be okay. But how come the piston cup isn't covered? If you haven't caught on by now, when it's just Sarah and myself, we literally just mold to any situation. So our plan was, because our tower tear is 8.30, we were gonna go do one man's dream and just stare at Waltz for 30 minutes, because that's normal. Um, but we got out of Toy Story, and uh, One Man's Dream is closed. Closes at 8 p.m. So 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. are the operating hours for that attraction or museum. Um, so just know that coming to Hollywood Studios, because if it's like 9 a.m. to 9 p.m., that's not the hours don't for. Think on it to be like your last stop of the day. Because we literally like walked over to go do it, and then maybe watch the Incredibles 2 sneak peek they're doing, and it was closed. But. We just rolled the punches, so we're gonna go back to top of a rock and roller coaster and see how the single rider line is. And that should be about tops, absolute tops. That should be 30 minutes yeah. for single rider. And look at the sun. I mean, like, it looks great right here on camera, but if we had like an 8K camera, it would look even better. Or if you were just here with us, it would look the best. Yeah, but it's like there's some purple, some pink, some. Mo there's orange over there, which we can see by Toy Story Land. And then just like blue. It's incredible. Uh oh. Sarah's secret, again, kind of becomes a different persona when she steps underneath that, that limo and she gets into like the foyer of rock and roller coaster. She becomes. The normal line is only 20 minutes. Mm, I don't know if I trust that. If that's 20 minutes, the single rider will be just as quick or quicker. We'll get the ride again. But sometimes we press our luck and we get to ride together on single rider anyway. I don't know what happened there, but I got on a ride right away and there was like so many empty seats in this one too. This is the one Sarah's on, I just see her. But there's like empty spots all over the place and empty rows. But it was really good. This ride, it's my favorite. It doesn't mess me up like the 
some of the other more intense rides, but it's just pure enjoyment, pure thrill. Thumbs up? Thumbs up? Ooh, I just gotta say, with the whole like ominous clouds and drizzle that's been going on for the past week, this is looking extra creepy, nice and ripe in the creepy level factor. Please watch the video on the television screen quietly. You're moving into a land of both shadow and substance, of things and ideas. You just crossed over into the Twilight Zone. We invite you, if you dare, to step aboard because in tonight's episode, you are the star. And this elevator travels directly to the Twilight Zone. Oh man, look at this. We, I've never... It's been years since I've seen this occur. What do you think? Yeah. Probably since our CP. We haven't seen it where you walk in after the, the row. Two. Row number four. Alrighty. We decided not to go back on it again. We're just feeling going home. We're going to run to Walmart real quick. Um, we're going to pick up. We can't buy like full groceries because of us going to Chicago on Wednesday right. morning. So we're just gonna buy like pretty much enough to eat until Tuesday. Mm. And then we were playing with the idea of a Toy Story marathon, but I'm not sold yet. I am. He's worried I'm gonna fall asleep, which I admit is not something that is outlandish. So change of plan. We came to Target, our favorite place to spend too much money. And of course, right at the entrance, we got the new Mickey line. That's not bad. Thin. This is trouble. That's why it's like they're skimping on here because I feel like being so close to Disney property, they're like flying through it. Mm -hmm. Even like this little. Look at these buttons. What are those? What are these Mickey? Sandals. Those would not last in Florida though. They'd get mm -hmm. soaked once and be done so. Oh, there's even different. Yeah, we're here for salsa and chicken. Salsa and chicken. Not this new amazing Mickey set, Mickey mini series. Look at those comfies. Oh. Okay, something weird happened right next to the Mickey and Minnie stuff. Oh my god, look how cute that is. Um, this is not okay for Sarah and myself because in the state of Illinois, straight up illegal. There's like a million of these things right over the Indiana border because it's illegal in Indiana. But to see literally $2 and $1, like sprinkler, like sparklers are in poppets, these are good in Illinois. But like this stuff, not cool. Like that $50, retail value 165, you pay 50 bucks. Trippin' daisies, this is not, okay, look at this thing. Lightning blast fireworks. Where do we live now? <laughs> Thinking chili and nachos, or chili and tacos for us this week, so we got chicken. And Sarah's down here looking at the, the salsas. Just, just straight tacos all week. I like that plan. Well, we set our world record just now. Mm -hmm. How much money have we just spent at Target? $20.58. Can I point out that that is after we discovered the Mickey Mini series and we discovered illegally sold goods. Well, legally sold goods in the state of Florida. But to us, like that was like, still not over it. Still not over it. Alrighty, so we're starting our Toy Story Marathon. I was supposed to record Grown Up Kids today with Megan and Katie and Rory, like we've been talking about for weeks. Um, but today, our internet actually decided not to work. Um, and so Peter, that's what Peter's doing over there. He's trying to figure that out. It, it seems like our router is back up again, right, Peter? But within like our resetting and everything, now our settings are off and we aren't able to connect. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna relax. I've been having a stomach ache. Um, we're just gonna chill and watch Toy Story. It's like I think we said before, it's like four hours and 40 minutes. So if that's the case, we'll be up past 2 a.m. But it should be a good relaxing rest of our Saturday night. We both. And we did not watch Toy Story 3. For so another day. That's for another day. Eve's cozy on the couch, so we're gonna get her up and get ready for bed. It's good to be it's home. good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>